The question 13 is about geometric sums. So we have to add geometric sequences basically. The formulas are given over here. This is for geometric sequence formula. We just now saw it in the last problem. It is a n equals the first term times the geometric ratio or the common ratio r power n minus 1. And the geometric series over here is given by these two formulas. So which formula do we use? We can use both the formulas, but in general, we use the first formula. I'll tell you why. Generally, we will have the first term, we will have nth term, then we use this. But if at all the last term is given the sum, the series, the last term is given, you know, then we can use this one where it is a1 minus a n r. Now, in these problems, we can all use only the first formula and solve it up. So let's look into the problems. They're all real world problems. I'll solve them all. Science. One minute after it is released, a gas will balloon has risen 100 meters. In each succeeding minute, the balloon rises only 50% as far as it rose in the previous minute. So now in the first minute, 100, right? 100 meters up. Next is only 50. Then a 50%, that means 50. Then half of it, that's 25 and so on. How far will it rise in five minutes? Now, since it's just five minutes, even you can, you know, use the, I mean, just common sequences and find it out, uh, geometric sequences and find it out in the sense 100 plus 50 plus 25 plus 12.5, then it'll be 6.25. Add them up, that will be answer. But what is the better way to do it? The formula is Sn equals A1. Now, here, one minute, focus here. How far will it rise in five minutes? So they want to know it's going up, right? The balloon, how far? The total distance, that's basically the total distance they want. So we are using SN formula. A1 uh, minus A1R to the power N by one minus R. This is the formula. Now here, what's the first term? 100. So 100 minus 100, what is R? 50%. What is 50%? That is 0.5 or you can write 50% itself. Uh, but you have to use brackets and all. It's better to write 0.5. What is N? The first minute it rose how much? 1. Now we need 5 minutes. So it is N is 5. And 1 minus R. What is R? 0.5. This is it. Put it in the calculator. You will get the answer. Now press this fraction symbol and type it out 100 minus 100 times 0 0.5 to the power 5 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 it's 0.5 itself. So the answer over here is 193.75 and that's the answer. Now even if you add this up 150, 75, 87.5 it's yeah exactly 193.75 itself. It has to be. So that's the answer. This real-world problem is on chemistry. Radon has a half-life of four days. This means that for about every four days, half of the mass of radon decays into another element. Now, see, half of the mass is decayed. That means what is the R value? It is 0.5. 50% is gone, right? 0.5 is equal to R from there. How many grams of radon remains from the initial grams or 60 grams after four weeks? So there is four weeks of time that uh, that decay will happen. So four weeks is how many days? It is uh, seven, four, so 28, 28 days. But we need we know that half life is four days. So what you can do is seven times four divided by four, or just divide this by four. It is seven times n is seven basically that decay happens in within this uh, four weeks. So now we need to know the first term. This is initially what happens after, in, after the first decay, n is equal to 1, what happens? It will be 30 grams. Then next one will be 50 grams and goes on, right? So remember here, this is the initial gram. But once, this is initially. But when the decay happens the first time, this is the value. So this will be basically A1 after first decay. A2 is after second decay, A3 is so on. We have to find till A7. Now we know the formula of An, right? An is equal to A1 times Rn minus 1. Just substitute over here. We know An is 7. A1 is 30 over here. Multiplied by R0.5 to the power 7 minus 1 and you'll get the answer. 
All you do is substitute this in the calculator and here you go. That is the answer. That's 0 0.46, 0 0.47 is the answer. Yeah, that's the answer in grams. It's in grams, okay? Now, reasoning. A virus goes through a computer infecting the files. If one file was infected initially and the total number of files infected doubles every minute, how many files will be infected in 20 minutes? So now this is another interesting problem. Here I had some issues with this problem because I was confused. We have to find SN. That is my first goal. But I checked online. We are supposed to find AN only. See, though it's it feels that, okay, we have to find the total number of files that are infected in 20 minutes. Wrong. Look over here. What they have told. How many files will be infected in 20 minutes? It's not that they have not mentioned total number of files or to find the sum or how much total distance is passed, something like that. Total is not at all there. In the next problems, you can differentiate this with that. It's just like the last problem, but over here, the values are different. See, if one file, file was infected initially, so already initially the A1 is what? How much is infected already? 1. A2 is what? It will be 2. Why? Because every minute it's doubling. So N is how much? N is given as 20. A1 is 1. Let's put it in the formula. A20 will be A1 times R N minus 1. This doubles means R is 2. So over here, all you need to do is 1 into 2 to the power n minus 1 that is 20 minus 1 just substitute and solve you can put this directly in the calculator and solve here i've typed it out in the calculator just press equal to the answer is 524,000, nearly half million over half million so this is the answer 524,288. now it's about geometry in the figure the sides of each equilateral triangle are twice the sides of the inscribed triangle so now imagine this is the inscribed triangle right for the outer one the sides of the out uh, outer is basically twice if this is 10 this will be 20 that's what they have told inscribed is smaller the outer is twice bigger if the pattern continues find the sum of perimeters of the first eight triangles so so like this only it keeps on going eight more so what will be the sum see now they have clearly mentioned sum this is total SN formula. Okay, so you need to understand from the question whether they are asking AN or SN. Now here, don't just take 20. They have clearly mentioned it's the perimeter, right? Find the sum of perimeters. So if one side is 20, this is also 20, 20. So what is the perimeter of the first triangle? It will be 60. So we have to find it for N, right? This is the A1. N is how much? 8. R is what? Half of it because see this is double that means the inner one will be half 0 0.5 now let's substitute sn is a1 minus a1 r to the power n 1 minus r so what you do is substitute the value 60 minus 60 times 0 0.5 to the power 8 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 now put it in the calculator and solve it yeah, I've typed the entire thing just as it is and the answer is 119.53. So the sum of all the perimeters would be, it's rounded off to 119.5 centimeters. Before continuing this problem, I would highly suggest you all to try this by yourselves because we are doing the similar problems now and then continue watching the video. Here it's about pendulums. The first swing of a pendulum travels 30 centimeters. If each subsequent swing travels 95% as far as the previous swing. So now if 30, next one, see when a pendulum swings, right? It'll just go like this. The first one is done, but next one will be 95% less. Then it'll be 95, 95. It'll just stop, right? Something like that. So 95% as far as the previous swing. Find the total distance traveled by the pendulum after the 30th swing. So now here they have told total distance sum. So let's write the formula Sn is equal to A1 minus A1 R to the power N by 1 minus R. And over here we have got A1. First swing they have told this is the A1, right? Is this much. The R value is 0 0.95 or 95%. We have to find N is equal to 30. So let's substitute everything what we know. 
it is 30 minus 30 times 0 0.95 to the power 30 divided by 1 minus RS 0 0.95. Just put it in the calculator, you'll get the answer. I've just typed everything over here in the calculator as it is and the answer is 471.22. So you can see it's they have rounded off to 471. It's in centimeters, so it's centimeter. The next one is about phone chains. A school established a phone chain in which every staff member calls two other staff members to notify them when the school closes due to weather. The first round of calls begins with the superintendent calling both principals if there are 94 total staff members and employees at the school, how many rounds of calls are there? This is a very nice idea where if there is bad weather or adverse weather and if the school is being closed, the employees will call each other. So one person has to call at least two people and then they will call other two and other two and that this is how it goes. So the first one to call is what? Who the superintendent. So one, that is A1. Next will be two. Then 4, 2, 2, 2. So R is over here, 2. And over here they have not told N value. We have to find N. But they have told 94 are, are the total staff, total SN. Now here this is an inequality problem. It will be a very lengthy one. But I will tell you a shortcut. Just remember this formula. SN is equal to A1 minus A1 R to the power N divided by one minus r see r is found out a is found a1 is known so we will substitute one minus one into r is how much two divided by one minus two what about this n see there are 94 students if you just uh, 94 staff so you can just do the math next one will be so one is done two is done so three over here seven are done next one will be eight so eight plus seven would be 15 then again multiply I keep on adding so it'll be about, you know, maximum 10 rounds, not even 10, less than 10. So what we'll do is we'll try it in the calculator now. Now we have typed everything, but the power is unknown. So I will just start with 5. So you can see after 5 rounds, there'll be 31 total staff uh, informed. So let's change this to say 6 or 7. Let me go to 6. 63 staff, still it's not enough. In the 7th round, I'm sure it's going to go more. Yes, seventh round, if the n is equal to seven, there will be more than 94 staff. So we can't tell n is six because six is less than 94. So n must be seven at least. So in the seventh round, n is seven, you know, uh, all the staff in the, uh, in the school will be known about the weather condition. And the last problem in this topic, again, the real world problem, you can try this by yourselves and then continue watching the video. High Tech Electronic advertises a weekly installment plan for the purchase of a popular brand of high definition television. The buyer pays 15 dirhams at the end of the first week, 16.5 dirhams at the end of the second week, 18.15 at the end of the third week, and it goes on until for one year. Okay, one year is basically 52 weeks. What will be the payments be at the end of the 10th, 20th, and 40th week? So what are how much payments must be done? So you can see, uh, first we need to see there's an increase, right? What is the R value? How do we find R if we know the terms A1, A2, A3? It is second term divided by the first term. So I'll just do that. It will be 16.5 divided by 15. You need to put in the calculator. You'll get the value. A1 is known, 15. What is N? N varies over here. This is all N values. So the first problem, the A part, we will now do it. Here we have 16.5 divided by 15. The answer is 1.1. So that is the R value. So 1.1 is done. How do we find the, you know, the first 10th week? So AN is equal to A1 times RN minus 1, isn't it? So for the 10th week, A1 is 15. R is 1.1 to the power 10 minus 1. Same thing for the, which is the next one, 20th week, it will be one, 15 into 1.1, 20 minus 1 is 19. I'll write it directly. And lastly, for the 40th week, it will be 15 times 1.1 to the power 39. So we have to just do this. So over here, all you need to do is 15 times 
1.1 to the power 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. So this will be the answer. Then 35.36. And then over here 19, it is 91. And lastly at 39, it will be 617. We can just check the answers. So those are the answers. Now it's rounded off over here to 0.1, like one decimal. Now let's go to the next part. Find the total cost of the TV. What is the total cost? How much money will be paid after one year? So the first term, again, we know A1 is 15. R, we just now found out to be 1.5. What is N to find out the total? N is one year, right? 52 weeks. It's in terms of weeks. So summation formula, Sn is equal to A1 minus A1R to the power N minus 1 by 1 minus R. So the first term here is 15 minus 15 into 1.1 to the power 52 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1.1. You just have to put this in the calculator and you'll get the answer. So all you need to do is substitute everything as it is in the calculator. And the answer is 19,217. Now I just realized that this is not n minus 1. My bad. I just realized now. It should be only 52, okay? The answer is 21,156. Yes, that's the correct answer. Yeah, I was carried away by the formula of a n. That has n minus 1. This is just power n and n. Please be careful with the formulas. Understand them well. A n is a1, r n minus 1. But the summation doesn't have n minus 1 over here. And the last problem, why is the cost found in part b not entirely accurate? See now, when we are paying, we don't exactly pay the exact amount. You know, every week, if there's installments, you pay a rounded off figure. Instead of 91.7, you pay 92 dirhams. So what happens is when you actually some come over here after 52 weeks, you're paying a bit more by few, you know, few fills. Not even, it might amount to just few dirhams, you know. So that is the thing. Round it off to the nearest uh, dirham, really. And th therefore, it'll be more than whatever the sum actual sum is so much but it'll be more uh, the payment will be more that's basically it and that's the end of question 13 they're all real world problems so please read the problem correctly analyze it understand what needs to be asked then use the proper formula and solve it up